Okay, okay. Here it comes. Here it comes. Alright, let's can I get that one out before death ray? No. How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our expert Thorium mod let's play. And here we are, right in the middle of a battle with the solar eclipse, because I am on the hunt for moonstones at the moment as we rapidly approach the end of this playthrough. So as you can see, I've expanded the arena just so we can take advantage of the amazing Terrarium Sabers, our long range piercing attack, and also our hyper discs as well. Plus I'm noticing NPCs dying a lot less, which is always a good thing. Also guys, uh, I'll be talking about voting for the next series uh, later in this video, so make sure you stay tuned for that as well. Mission complete. So, we have almost everything we need now. We got two moonstones from that invasion. We have one sunstone from Golem, but I'm going to need a second one. I'm also four life fruits away from max health. And I know you can't tell with the terrarium armor on, but uh, as you see, I've only got 480 health. Uh, so it would be nice to get a few more of those. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to harvest a little bit more chlorophyte um, because I would like to make some more terrarium cores just so we can have a quick look at the rest of the weapons. Uh, also find the remainder of the life fruits and maybe fight one or two more golems uh, so we can get uh, the celestial shell and celestial stone uh, which would be very nice indeed. Ah, the farming is done, and we've done quite a bit of grinding, uh, and also bought uh, some more ore off the blacksmith, which is super handy for making terrarium cores, because you only need to sort of find things like meteorite and stuff like that. Uh, so there are the lovely cores, so let's make some more of these. Beautiful 51, uh, let's put them back into there, and let's make some of the other stuff that we couldn't last time. I want to make this sage staff, that looks really sweet. Uh, what else can you make? The spear, terraformer, oh, I think we'll have to go a spear, that sounds pretty fun. How many have we got left? 37. Alright, we're doing good. Uh, is there a gun? A pulse rifle, yep, sounds great. A longbow, why not? Uh, we already got that, oh, what's this one? A terrarium bomber, that sounds kind of fun. Alright, let's get one of those. Oh, Alright, let's put some of these in our hotbar. Uh, so we can have a bit of a play around here. So, first one, Sage Staff. Uh, it says enemies with more than 5,000 life will be cursed by the save's primary effect. Uh, I did a bit of reading and it looks like it does 100 damage a tick against bosses and stuff like that, which is amazing. Okay, the spear is not auto-swing, but it makes a projectile come out of it, which is kind of nice. I, I don't mind that. That was very nice indeed. Uh, the pulse rifle. Whoa! Whoa! That is fast! Wow! Oh, we should get that pulse ammo. Sorry, did I get some? There we go. Oh, wow! Check it out! It makes like rainbow bullets. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Okay, the terrarium longbow. Yeah, it just makes sort of quick arrows. And they explode with an AoE, which looks kind of fun. And terrarium bomber. Wow, it makes like a rainbow effect come out. That's kind of cool. I like that. That's pretty nice indeed. Oh, wow. Alright, so that's pretty much all the weapons and the pickaxe. <laughs> I assume it I assume it pickaxes fast, yeah. <laughs> Just as you would expect from a pickaxe. 
Uh, so we farmed all the stuff for the celestial items. Uh, so we can make those. I've also farmed up the remaining pieces of our master ninja gear that we needed. Uh, which is very nice indeed. There we go. So we've got our celestial gear. And we had the tabby and the black belt. I just needed the armored shoe spikes and the climbing claws. So we also have our master ninja gear. Well, it is time to see... Oh, yeah, just... I'm trying to introduce the cultist and my, my terrarium armor just attacked it automatically. <laughs> oh, so let's try out our new weapons against the cultist here. Buffs are on. And uh, let's see. Oh, I want to try that sage star. Okay, let's... Oh, I can't quite tell what it's doing. It's not auto fire, so... I think it's just got like stacking damage or something, so... Wow! Yeah! Take that! <laughs> Poor coldest! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, better hit the right one. There we go. Lovely. Uh, yeah, it's doing a pretty quick job on him. Alright, let's get some more... Wow, that Sage Staff does a lot of damage. That's pretty crazy. And we're trying the rocket here. It's very sparkly. It's a sparkly way to kill someone. <laughs> oh, yeah, this Thorium equipment's a bit, a bit too strong for the cultist. Yeah, that's it. You're going down, buddy. <laughs> oh, I'm in a nebula pillar. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look how high up the pillar is in the air. I've never seen that before. That's out of control. Oh, wow. Uh, what weapon should I use? Oh, actually, I wouldn't mind chlorophyte bullets. That would be nice with that pulse rifle. That would be very good indeed. Um, I might preserve some of my ammo uh, for the Moon Lord. Uh, that might be nice, you know, just like some burst damage towards the end. Uh, very good indeed. Uh, so let's try out our saber for a bit. Yeah, that's going pretty nice. And if you're wondering why I've got 650 health, uh, it's a combination of a life force potion. Uh, the terrarium armor gives you an extra 100 hit points, I think. 100 or 80 or something like that. But the, the net result, guys, is that you get a ridiculously high armor score and regeneration. Uh, with the two celestial items, you can see my regeneration is... Kind of out of control. No, don't die, don't die, don't die, no! <laughs> and I'm all like, oh, this is so OP, and then I die. It is almost time for us to battle the Moon Lord, and I'm just making some last minute preparations uh, to our arena. So I've created a sort of area where we can avoid the Phantasmal Death Ray, um, but this armor has no damage reduction, uh, which is a little bit scary and means that I can't use my normal melee build, which is, you know, I usually tank a few hits uh, when I do that, but we've found three statues during our adventure so we can make a few heart generators so I will be playing like a running battle sort of thing so we can put one there as we're flying past we can probably put one under the honey bath here actually uh, which will be a nice spot for it um, because we will most likely stop at this station quite a bit during the battle although how am I gonna get a spiky ball in there hmm maybe I need to put it at the side it just looks nice there Oh, I can just make it one deeper yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We can do this, people. We can do this. Um, so, yeah, I am kind of interested to see how the Moon Lord battle goes. You know, it's uh, we are using Terrarium equipment. Uh, this stuff is amazing against normal mobs, but how will it fare against the expert Moon Lord? I mean, you know, that's a, that's a different ball game. You know, he's a lot stronger. He has some devastating attacks. So it will be interesting to see how it all works out. Oh, that's right. And I made some extra Heart Lanterns. To put there so all we need to do now is hook up the wiring and I don't have a wire cutter unfortunately hook up the wiring with our existing infrastructure here and then mm, let's clean that up beautiful so then all we need to do is take out the Stardust pillar and we're ready to fight Moon Lord and see how we go all right guys let's zoom ahead
Alright, let's take out this pillar and start the Moon Lord battle. So, we just have to find the lovely little pillar, obviously. And, ah, there it is. Lovely. And let's get some of this lovely sage staff into it. Yes, good, good, good. And I'll try some more. I haven't done two loads of mana into it. Wow, look at how quickly it did so much damage to the Stardust Pillar. Wow, it's so good. I'm going to have to do some damage tests with this. It's a pretty crazy weapon. Ah, lovely. Okay, so let's get... Let's get... <laughs> let's get the fragments quickly. Lovely. And let's get back to our arena. Very good, very good. And here comes fun people. Let's get our buffs on. And let's get this party started. Oh, yes. So I am using all uh, to our thorium weapons, sorry, uh, for this battle. So it's pure thorium. I am interested to try out all the stuff and see how it goes. Um, so obviously for accessories, uh, just using what works for me. But yeah, all weapons are thorium only. So yeah, trying out the different stuff. Uh, so using the saber, the hyper discs, and I'm trying out this sage staff as well because I'm interested to see uh, if that sunder effect where it does, yeah, it's supposed to like do extra damage. Uh, we've done like 25,000 to the forehead eye, which is pretty good. Uh, yeah, nothing to sneeze about. Um, the hyper discs are good, but they are quite slow at the same time. So yeah, it's a, it's a little bit tricky. And I've got a bigger arena this time uh, because I just can't afford to tank uh, tank hits like I usually would um, uh, against the Moon Lord, you know, because I have no damage reduction, which does scare me a bit, uh, I'll be honest with you. Uh, whoop, let's just get under here, get some more mana, and use this Sage Staff again. I can't stop to see uh, the damage over time effect, and it seems to wear off the second the eye shuts, but it, from what I can tell, it's doing a lot of damage. Uh, just just FYI, I've only used the Sage Staff really against the Forward Eye, so yeah, it's doing okay. Uh, the only thing is you have to manually cast it, um, but it casts, it's got a quick use time, so that's kind of cool. It seems to be like the Daybreak, is it, that has the damage over time effect? Um, again, just while the eye is open though. Uh, there we go, so that forehead eye is pretty much done. Uh, let's see, so I could probably, well, I might wait one more rotation and get that forehead eye out then. Uh, because I don't want to have those eyeballs out. Oh, okay, okay. Here it comes. Here it comes. Alright, let's... Can I get that one out before death rate? No. Oh, no. Did I just use a potion? No. I didn't mean to. Ah! Alright. Oh, I need to get this eyeball out. Alright, I'm just going to run and run and cast sort of thing. Oh. We are taking a lot of damage. Alright, I threw a heal on. The core is open. Uh, which means I technically... Could just use Sage Staff. Wow. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, I, sh I don't have a uh, a um, mana flower to keep my mana up, so I may may try like hyper hyper discs for this part, perhaps, just because they can continually uh, land hits on the core, and I don't have to worry as much where I'm actually at, uh, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. Look, they're sort of hovering over the core. That's awesome. Very nice indeed. And because uh, Hyper Discs don't have a limit, unlike Light Discs, they sort of, if you can keep ahead of them, they are infinite, <laughs> uh, which is nice. Although, they are catching up to me. Don't catch up to me, Hyper, <laughs> hyper Discs. Stay out. Stay out. Oh, wow, this core part, the Hyper Discs are perfect for the core. Uh, I, w I, will, I will say they are doing a very nice job there. Yes, we did it. Thorium armor, thorium weapons. It is possible to beat the expert Moon Lord with them. So I am quite pleased with that. And let's get our treasure. Ooh, it looks like I'm full up of loot. <laughs> it's random. Oh, we got the trophy. How cool is that? And 17 sea scales. And that's from the crab statue, which is interesting. Normally, you have to be at a mission biome for that to happen, but it's all good. Let's de-summon our beholders. And the Dryad died again. Poor Dryad. <laughs> oh, I don't know. And, uh, yeah, so I made some super healing potions using that trick everyone was telling me of, uh, you know, use the other three fragments to make it, uh, but that's kind of nice, so let's get rid of those, and, uh, I suppose we should open up our treasure bag, so you ready guys? Three, two, 
Oh, let's put the let's put the moon lord trophy down first. Let's let's prioritize here, people. There we go. All right, you ready? And put that in the bin for now. Three, two, one, boom! <gasps> Lunar flare. Yeah, take that eyeball. <laughs> um, we got some luminite and the portal gun, which is always fun. I've thrown it away. Um, now there is a bow that you're supposed to be able to make with luminite uh, that a lot of people were saying is kind of off the chart. So. I am a bit keen. I don't know if you can make it by hand. Oh, there's the, um, that's to summon Ragnarok, uh, which we might look at. Uh, let's have a quick look with the guide and see if we can make this bow. I think it's called, like, Celestial Bow or something. Uh, I'll take my helmet off too so we don't have sparkles everywhere all the time. So, Luminite Bar, and there it is. Celestial Bow. You need 25 of each fragment and 20 Luminite Bars at the Ancient Manipulator. 300 damage, occasionally, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we can make this. We can make this. All right. And then, ooh, okay, we can make it. The Celestial Bow. I believe this is a donator item. It says it's a cheat weapon. Whoa, that's cool. What's it do? It, like, sparkles when you hit stuff. All right, that's pretty cool. Considering it does 300 damage a hit, guys, that is a pretty sweet weapon indeed. Oh, wow, I like it. Voting is live for our next series, and the link is in the description, which will take you to our straw poll page. I'll quickly go through the options for you. We have a gunslinger on expert mode, which means all guns are available to the character. We also have a thorium thrower on expert mode, which was highly requested, uh, and you can also add smaller mods to that, like Urzian, to add even more thrown weapons. Uh, we have the scavenger series, which would be normal mode, and that's all items and ore must be found by the character from mobs only. Uh, a few people have talked about treasure chest stuff too, which I'm more than open to. Uh, we also have an explorer that's on expert mode, and that's just a general playthrough. All items, all classes, all invasions, so it's pretty much the whole Terraria run. And then the last option is just anything. You don't mind what we play, you're just here to watch and have a good time. Alright guys, thanks for watching as always. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the series. Uh, and also, we're probably going to put Thorium on hold for now. Uh, we can fight the Ragnarok boss if you wish. I might do a little bonus video. I'll put an annotation on screen now. I've also done a tutorial on how to beat Ragnarok on Expert. If you don't want to use the Celestial Bow, which is pretty overpowered. Um, and yeah, that'll be kind of cool. Uh, subscribe if you'd like, guys. And here's the most important part, as always. You all stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days, signing out. See ya! No! Oh, why did I go down? Why did I leave the boss? Life was good. <laughs> I could have just killed the boss and lived like a king. Oh, guys. It's getting low. It's getting low, but it is shooting like a crazy bee. Oh, man. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, get out. Lorenzo. No, no, I don't want to talk to you. I want you to get out of my secret base. <laughs> oh, bunny! <laughs> no! <laughs>